so here I go again on my own. Go down the only road I live alone. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. Hello, everybody. It's me. Um, Mark Severide with League of Truth Ministries down here in Dallas, South Texas. I'll tell you what. Hello. Yeah, okay. So let's just get right into it. Absolutism, part two. All right. Now, for a quick review, basically absolutism, uh, something either is or isn't. I know, right? It's pretty non-confusing. However, people still have a tendency to get confused about these things. I actually, I should say more often than not, people don't actually even care about these things, which is more the problem these days. But hey, you know what? Shoe fits, tomato, tomato, whatever. Anyway, um, if you need reference, click on the uh, Absolutism Part 1 video on the channel. It's, it's as easy as that. Okay. Uh, so, here we go. The, the main adage that I'd like to add... <laughs> See what I did there? Um, is the fact that if no one created the Most High, the uh, the Hebrew Israelite God, which is the true Most High God, Ahia Shur Ahia, as He gave us His name in Exodus 13, I am that I am. In Paleo Hebrew, it is Ahia Shur Ahia. Um. If, as the Bible states, he was before time, he doesn't exist within time, he is eternal, always and forever, uh, who is, was, and always shall be, um, that's an absolute. Now, a lot of more, let's just say liberally minded, secular humanists, which I really don't like to uh, partition uh, that much because I'm not into it, I really don't want to um, segment it, I'm not a um, faction. I am a Hebrew Israelite, that's it. I believe that Gentiles will be saved, as the Bible says, that they'll be saved. And, um, yeah, I mean, as long as you accept Christ as your Savior, Yeshua, his true name, not Jesus, the pagan name, um, turn from your sin, wait. and uh, you wait. You believe this guy interrupted me like that? Anyway, um, as long as you do turn from your sin, all that good stuff, then you sh ye, ye too shall be saved. All right. Uh, John three sixteen was for everyone. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever should uh, believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Keyword: whoever. Right. Which means everybody. Everybody's on the train. Okay. Now, we're not counting the 144,000 elect. Uh, some people maintain that it's 288,000. Uh, that's debatable. We'll just go with 144 elect. 12,000 out of each tribe of Israel. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, read the Bible. Pretty simple. There's 12 tribes that were uh, fled persecution uh, from Egypt and then from Rome. And they went overseas as slave ships. Now, uh, you have different types. You have the uh, main tribe, Judah which was the same uh, seed line of Adam. Adam was black. Everybody that's uh, black or um, um, Negro um, is of the tribe of Judah. Yeshia the Christ was black, not white, not Caesar Borgia or Borgia, however you want to pronounce it, it don't matter to me. He was an evil guy and uh, did a lot of bad things. Uh, but that's the uh, picture that you get a nice little white Jesus face. And before you want to make this a race thing, uh, you know, if it's such a big deal that he's not black or he's not white, then why did they make him white to begin with? Okay, so let's go there for a second. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Just kidding. So uh, yeah, yeah, uh, y Yeshua is his uh, his uh, his name, salvation. Um, and if uh, you're a Gentile, you know, not born of these 12 tribes, that's okay, because the Bible includes you as well. First the Jew, then the Gentile. Okay. Um, good. Get that out of the way. Now, absolutism is 
all there is when it comes to the Most High. That's why it's extremely important for us to understand what is, is, and what is not, is not. Um, life eternal is life eternal. There's no uh, if, ands, maybes, or you know, whatever's. It's just the way it is. Um, now, we know this through prophecy in the scriptures. Because uh, one would actually ask, well, how would you even begin to know this if it hasn't happened yet? Uh. Well, that's a good question. And to be honest with you, it's a fair one. We as Hebrew Israelites and believers of the Most High, um, we go by prophecy. Uh, one of the main reasons why I go by prophecy is because huh, nearly 80% of Bible prophecy has come to pass to the letter. And um, that's why I personally go there. I could count the many times that Muhammad's prophecies, um, you know, has, has already manifested. Oh wait, there hasn't been any Muhammad prophecies that have actually happened at all um, so yeah there's that uh, Muslims that want to profess you know total submission to quote-unquote God they need to understand that Allah is not the actual most high God their own Quran tells them specifically that Yeshaya uh, was the Savior okay uh, their own Quran tells them that they uh, and I'm talking about the uh, Israelites who have converted into Arabic um, Muslim beliefs. Um, uh, their own Quran tells them that no, uh, you uh, you were born uh, as a Hebrew Israelite. Uh, you are the chosen people of the Most High, Ahaya, the Jewish or the Hebrew Israelite God. It even recognizes him as the Hebrew Israelite's most high God. So I don't understand how you guys are following the Quran and believing upon Allah, which is a false God, even by your own scriptures or your own book. Um, but hey, you know what? Maybe you learned something today. Maybe I'll get, you know, snipered by a Muslim terrorist. Who knows? Who cares? All right. The point is, is I'm going to get the truth out for as long as the Most High allows me to. As such, um, we have to maintain that absolutism, absolutism, excuse me, it's been a long week, man. I'm going out of two hours of sleep. I know I complain a lot, but, you know, I do what I want. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Absolutism, absolutism is extremely important to understand because if we don't, we, we cannot understand uh, simple science. And I'll give you an example. Does cold exist? No. As most of us know who uh, are uh, of the uh, very scientific persuasions, uh, cold does not exist. It is merely the absence of heat. If you uh, need um, a source material on this, there is a cool website to go to. I know. It's, 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 it's new. It's called Google. All right. <clears throat> um, so go ahead and go check it out for yourself. I, I did, I've done the research. All I can do is point the way. And to be honest with you, I don't even have enough time to source all the stuff for you people. I know I've been getting uh, messages about, well, why are you reading the Bible verse? And, 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 which, well, what's, uh, where are you getting your source? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. Um, I do this, uh, even though it's my full-time job, I do this in my spare time because I have a lot of other things going on. And yes, those are excuses, but you know what? I have a right to do that because I'm the one doing this. I don't see anybody else doing it. Not not to call you all out, but I'm just saying. So, um, but seriously. Uh, so just kind of understand that um, if I don't do that, it's because I want to. But also, when I was researching all this stuff, I did not have everything put down on a silver platter for me. In fact, I liked it that way because I was able to uh, look through this stuff objectively, okay, so that I was able to convince myself. If somebody told me something, you know, I don't know, I, I guess very, very, uh, a very small point without a reference point, you can best well be sure that I uh, search for it. You know, this was a little before, you know, the interwebnets was what it is today. And, um, yeah, there's, there's places like the library. It's a fascinating concept. So when I was able to read, um, I would go and check out the books and find out what the heck these people were talking about. And I was like to myself, hey, you know what? This is sourced. It's cited. 
And I came to even a better realization and was able to find out more stuff that maybe the person who pointed me in the right direction didn't know. And I cross-referenced with the information. That's how information gets spread. We don't, we don't, we don't, you know, fill it up. You know, those are just uh, precepts to a debate. I, I'm not, I'm not interested in debating anyone. I, I really don't care. When it comes to stuff that I know for sure that has been proven to me uh, and has been proven, period, I'm not going to debate you on it. I'm not because I don't really care what you think. If you're coming to me with a false uh, premise, and what I call false premise is something that's been socially engineered into your head for either pride or ego's sake. Hey, you know what? I'm going to attack this guy because I, I don't like the fact that he thinks he knows me or, or everything or, or, or more stuff than me. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. If I did, I wouldn't be saying this stuff that could, you know, I mean, these days, it can get you freaking uh, put put in the slapper because of the stupid um, revised Patriot Act. I'm going to break with that, man. I don't care what you think, okay? I'm sorry. And this is all to the naysayers, and I don't really mean to be too negative. It's just that I don't have time for that nonsense, all right? You want to prove me wrong, research what I've researched, look into it, do it objectively like I did, Okay? Not with a religious palette, and that does include secular religiosity, because believe you me, there is such a thing. Um, and prove me wrong in a video of your own, okay? Now, if you agree with me, then hey, guess what? The Bible calls that an accord. We are coming together in agreement. Now we have an accord. Now we can uh, uh, you know, help each other in fellowship and spread the news, spread the truth. That being said, um, coal does not exist. Scientifically speaking, coal does not exist. It is the absence of heat. Um, in 1 Corinthians, it talks about love. What is love? It is the absolute um, power uh, that is generated by human beings okay, to exhibit true unegocentric, unprideful compassion towards one another. Okay? Brotherly, sisterly love ain't got nothing to do with sexual intercourse. So all of you, um, let's just say progressives that want to cite that on any uh, sexual preference, whether it be heterosexual or homosexual, I don't care. Take your pick. That, you cannot tell me that, um, we are boycotting love, the people that are against whatever, okay? People that are against adultery, that, that's my thing. I'm against adultery, whether it's hetero, hetero adultery or homosexual adultery. Uh, I, I've done it, and all it's done is brought me pain and chaos. Um, so, do yourself a solid, realize that true love doesn't have very much to do with... Uh, sexuality in any way shape or form I've said it before there are millions of married couples out there happily married couples um, that cannot reproduce uh, that cannot uh, have uh, intercourse or intimacy with their spouses that's called love that means a person is staying with their spouse because they truly love them and they're okay without having that because that's what love is so don't sit there and tell me that anything that has to do with adultery has to do with love okay love is a power given from above because the most high is love it's exactly what the scriptures say right most high is love why would he why would he want to have anything to do with uh, fornication or adultery or lust or the sins that he's trying to get us to stop doing or asking us to stop doing doesn't make any sense okay so speaking of chaos you've seen those um you've seen those um those vibration tables that scientists are using quantum quantum physics uh quantum physics is it's, it's abound with this kind of stuff it involves uh, super string theory if you're not if you're not um familiar with super string theory basically it just means that everything's held together by strings yeah i know but that's it really look into it more on your own like i said that crazy new website on the interweb nets called um, i think you can get it on your 56k modem if you if you upgrade it to the v90 or the v92 um, it's called google anyway so um yeah uh super string theory has a little to do with this um 
the Bible actually talks about it uh, many times over how um, well how there is no real uh, chaos there is no real um, evil and now these terms are going to be deemed as eventually okay on our time we perceive it as such because at times it is especially when you have evil evil satanic monsters literally kidnapping our children on the streets every night every day and raping them and then literally eating them okay now you know why this is a NC-17 video, okay? Because it's true. You can look into, uh, you can Google Pizzagate, get involved in that, uh, look into it. It's terrible, it's the most revolting thing currently plaguing our planet. Pedophilia is rampant in Hollywood. Uh, many sources uh, aside, I don't care what you think of them personally, hell, it's Hollywood. I mean, who, who's, who's legitimate over there anyway? At least some people are telling the truth. Uh, Roseanne Barr, uh, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, uh, Matt Damon. Yeah, I know. I'm not a big fan of him either. But there's many stars and many celebrities that are coming out trying to talk against pedophilia. Uh, people with a conscience, I would assume. Uh, or just a part of the uh, social engineering, fear-mongering tactics. Who cares? The point is it's actually happening. Uh, it needs to be investigated further. And, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's terrible. We, we see that. And that's, that's evil and unjust. Uh, but in the great scheme of things we understand that if you die as a child you go to heaven because children are sinless right those who have not sinned go to heaven um, well resting in the bosom of Abraham until uh, Yeshia wins the seven-year war during the seven-year tribulation and destroys uh, Satan's armies and uh, places him in the lake of fire for a millennium anyway um you know new jerusalem will be brought to the uh, ground or earth and uh, we'll, we'll reign forever i mean we'll reign a million a thousand years to, um with yeshia as our king uh <clears throat> up until then uh you know it's going to be rough you know we are already in jacob's trouble all you Hebrew Israelites know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look into it because it's going to involve you as well. Okay? Um, Jacob's trouble is here. I don't really know which scroll we're on. I'm not sure anybody does. We could speculate. But the point is, is that that means that evil will soon be over. Um, people that are being terrorized and hurt, uh, one of the most, uh, I guess, one of the... Uh, the most popular sayings in the world since I've been here and probably well before was what does not kill you makes you stronger well, why do you suppose that is why do you suppose somebody said that well, it's biblical you look at the scriptures it tells you to hold on for the prize hold on to the very end and you will receive the reward right and that means that and it also says the scriptures that nothing new under the sun there's nothing new under the sun for the Most High. He knows everything. He's taking care of business, you know. Um, whether you like to think about it or not, say, well, why does he let war? Why does he let, you know, children? I'm sorry. Uh, hey, uh, guy, you're just trying to justify your own sin because he does. He put those laws within our hearts, and we are the ones that decided to do that. We created the atom bomb with the help of fallen angels. Further manipulation since the Garden of Eden. Can't you see it's still going on? We developed uh, weapons of mass destruction, bullets. We created war. We did it. Own up. Stop com Stop blaming the Most High for our screw-ups. Grow up, own up, act your age. Now, um, suffice all of this to say, my point is simply this. Um, Even from a secular point of view, we understand this. We understand that uh, what does not kill us makes us stronger. Which means that the scriptures are correct when it says um, all things work according to the Most High's glory and goodness. That means no matter what, the Most High 
is in control. He's holy and just and he's in control. Doesn't matter what you think. All that matters is what is. Absolutes. It's the truth. Period. Holiness means you cannot allow evil to exist. It'll be banished forever in the pit of hell. Separated from the Most High and all of creation. He cannot destroy it. He cannot kill it. Because he's holy. And all these things are a part of him. Realize that he is in pain whenever a soul is lost in hell. He actually is in pain as well. I know, right? Never thought of that before, did you? Well, it's true. The point is, when we look at these uh, so-called vibration tables that these uh, um, researchers are um, now, now uh, practicing with, and they put sand on the table, just flat sand, completely leveled, flat, and they change the, uh, the uh, vibration to a certain frequency range, a certain frequency, they began to notice that there are special little designs. Now these are random, or quote unquote, random um, vibrations. Random uh, movement of the table and sound vibrations. They're random. Um, yet every single frequency has a different type of design or symbol. Freaking line, man. It's pretty cool, right? Um, I'm not too sure what the, I guess, the proponents of these ex uh, experiments are. Um, and really, I don't care. I mean, unless it's in line with um, the Bible, that's what I go with. So, uh, let's assume for a moment that chaos is temporary, thereby which making it not eternal, uh, thereby which making it not exist at all. Pretty fair, right? That's fair. Okay, so that's the, the premise uh, that I'm coming from. That's the uh, uh, proposed reality. Um, if so, you know, uh, then we've also got to look into other uh, aspects of quote-unquote reality.
What? It's pretty weird, huh? Okay, well. Um, those are just uh, a few of the, uh, I guess, uh, videos surfacing out of Turkey. Uh, quite recently, there was uh, somewhat of a uh, perceived UFO invasion. Uh, during the night sky in various cities, uh, there were uh, a myriad of orb-like uh, freaking lights just all over the place. And then, of course, that video there surfaced. Um, the validity seems to be legit. If it's a hoax, it's a really good one. I'm not going to say whether it is or isn't, but in terms of what I know about portals, uh, portal technology and all this stuff that they keep hidden from us. That's one of the reasons why they took the book of Enoch out of the Bible. It talks about uh, portals. Alright. According to the book of Enoch, there's 14 portals around the uh, uh, in and around the earth. Four main portals that the uh, angels use um, for the sun and the moon. Uh, you know, whatever you believe. Um, portals are kind of a, you know, a pop culture phenomenon. People love uh, talking about it and discussing it. As I understand, I think the uh, new Marvel uh, Doctor Strange film talks about it. So they're dropping a little bit of truth in those films. Um, but, you know, science fiction, science, tomato, tomato, we'll see what happens. The point is, the Bible uh, prophesies that uh, portals will uh, manifest in the latter days. That's how come we know that Yeshaya will come as a thief in the night uh, because you won't see him coming. Boom, just like that. The portal's going to open. Yeshaya and the angelic forces come with their uh, battle gear on. And um, uh, that's why we will not see him coming. Alright. So, anyway. All of these things have a lot to do with uh, mysteries and quantum physics theories and a bunch of uh, scientifical and metaphysical mumbos and jumbos. Um, but, like I said, um, this is a biblical faith system that I am uh, proposing. Uh, the Bible called all this stuff out for exactly what it was. Ecclesiastes 1.9, Paul writes that there's nothing new under the sun, as I stated before, nothing new under the sun. Uh, what, what, ha what is, what happened, will happen again. Uh, nothing new under the sun to the Most High who created everything. Okay, which means he's in control. The Most High is always in control. Uh, and um, uh, Romans 10.28 talks about how all things work according to the will of the Most High, which again means the Most High is in control. So this idea of chaos, it's a fundamentally um, interesting idea. I held on to it for quite a while in terms of um, the secular uh, and or scientific standpoint, but when I started to understand um, the greater realities, the greater truths that uh, spoke to my conscience, not just by um, you know, front low uh, psychological understanding, because that can be that can be manipulated, man. You know, I've told you all before, uh, motivation, or motive rather, uh, goes a long way. You can see a person doing something, uh, but the motive, the intent, what's in their soul, what's telling them, their conscience, you know, somebody could be doing something nice so that they can get something from that person. Something could be somebody could be doing something wrong because you know they've been hurt by someone else. It's, it's the motivation. You cannot look uh, always at the frontal lobe. Common sense literally only takes you so far. Eventually, your will, your soul, is going to have to intervene when you know you are just flustered and you have no idea what to do anymore. That's why the Most High put that in. He gave you that spirit. He gave you that strength to part of Him. Uh, and uh, we need to we need to utilize that more. We need to truly understand what this conscience is, uh, and not make it a, a cartoon fallacy with a little angel and a little uh, devil on one side of our shoulder. To truly understand the power that has been given to us and the responsibility that has been given 
as to make the right choices. So I choose to believe that chaos doesn't exist. That it actually exists within order. Science is already proving this, and the Bible talks about it explicitly. The Most High is in control. So go out there, love and serve Him, and be part of that control, be part of that reality, be part of that truth. Um, may the Most High continue to bless, lead, and use all of us. Uh, in Yeshua's name, by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, and the will, mercy, and grace of the Most High. In Yeshua's name, it is finished.